This is a drone. It may look a little scary, but the most dangerous thing about drones is actually the people who fly them, like me. The problem? The controls for these quadcopters can take a long time to master. Many of us who use them to take awesome aerial photos also have a tendency to crash them into things. So what if we could take a little bit of the human error out of the equation? There's a new generation of consumer drones that's a lot more autonomous. That makes them easier to pilot and also just a wee bit scary. The first of these more autonomous drones for consumers includes models like the 3D Robotics Iris Plus. It costs about $750 without a camera. And there's also the Ghost, which costs as little as $375 without a camera. Instead of piloting these drones with joysticks, you can actually just draw on a map with your finger. You say where you want your drone to go and what height it should be at each location. Then you just press launch and it's off on its own. This way, you don't need to be a master flyer to nail shots that are tricky to take on your own. Like the Droney, where the camera sweeps away for dramatic reveal. Both the Ghost and the Iris Plus can do one more, even cooler trick. Now drones can follow you around by tracking your cell phone. It's like the ultimate selfie machine. As I ran around this field, the Iris Plus kept following me. The only thing I told it was how high to fly. And it stared at me with its camera eye the whole time. All of this makes drones much easier and safer, but it isn't idiot proof. Once you tell them where to go, they go. They can't sense what's in front of them. So if you do a poor job of planning and something or someone moves into the way, you could be in big trouble. To be honest, every time I sent these drones up on their own, I got nervous. What if I programmed them wrong? What if they go rogue? It didn't help matters that every once in a while, both of these drones did wander off track. The problem is that GPS readings on phones aren't always precise, and that's what drones use to follow you. When a drone goes AWOL, they call it a flyaway. Fortunately for me, the return home button still worked as expected. Regardless, I would never fly these in crowded areas. Drone technology has made huge leaps in a very short amount of time. But even with auto technology, it's still for enthusiasts, not your average photo geek. 